In Malaysia, there are several modes of transportation to transport people from one place to another. Transportation is also important to get people connected with each other and reach any place easily. With the existing of various transportation services nowadays, people can use various methods available to get them to their desired places. It can be said that transportation services are very important to support the tourism development in Malaysia. Did you know how many modes of transportation that are commonly available? Well, there are various types of transportation modes which are available. And now, let's take a look at the ones that are commonly and frequently used here in Malaysia. Yeah. Before we look into details, let's look at the definition of the word transportation. Transportation can be defined as the action of transporting someone or something or the process of being transported. Now, from the definition, mode of transportation is a system or means of transporting people or goods. We shall now look and discuss in details about all of the transportation modes which are available such as air transportation, land transportation which includes rail and road transportation and also water transportation. Air transportation Air transportation is a transportation system to move passengers or goods by air. Nowadays, air transportation is one of the most important transportation modes in tourism to transport people, especially to the places which are not accessible by other types of transportation. Common air transportation includes airplanes and helicopters. The main function of an air transportation includes to bring tourists from one point to another where the destination cannot be reached by other modes of transportation as well as to help to contribute in the growth of the tourism industry where most of the tourists will travel by air for a long distance holiday destination. Land Transportation Land transportation can be defined as the movement of people from one point to another via land. This type of transportation is frequently used by tourists because of the lower cost. However, the main factors affecting this choice are time and distance. Land transportation can be separated to two categories which are road transportation and rail transportation. The most common and frequently used land transportation is a road transportation. Road transportation Road transportation is one of the most important modes of transportation in the tourism industry. Most travelers prefer to travel using these modes of transportation due to the time and distance factor. Land transportation can bring the tourists to their desired locations which is accessible by road. This is also the cheapest way to bring the tourist from one location to another. Some common land transportation include buses and taxis. Now, as the technology is more modern and efficient, there are additional land transportation options available which can be slowly replacing the, ex the existing taxis available which are such as the grab car and uber. Tourists around the world nowadays prefer to use these services instead of local taxis due to the cost factor which is said to be much more cheaper than taking a normal taxi. Rail Transportation A rail transportation can also be categorized under the land transportation. Rail transportation has been in Malaya now Malaysia since the late 19th century with the aim to speed up transportation of the tin mining areas to ports along the coast. But now, rail transportation is one of the country's most important transportation mode. The Ministry of Transportation and other agencies is the leader in the rail transport system in Malaysia. One of the best ways of getting around in this country is by Malaysian Railway System. 
whether you are a trade enthusiast or you simply want to get from point A to point B in a safe, economical and convenient manner, Malaysian Railway System Malaysian Railway System is a good alternative method of transportation. Train travelling is also safer than driving and it is very reasonably priced. Some examples of rail transportation include the LRT or Light Rail Transit, Subway Train, Bullet Train, Monorail, Electric Train, and the latest rail transportation available are the MRT or Mass Rail Transit and the ETS, Electric Train Transit. Water transportation Water transportation can be defined as the movement of people from one place to another via water. The peninsula of Malaysia, Sabah and Sarawak are surrounded by seas. Various islands are becoming more and more popular to tourists from around the world. Therefore, water transportation is important in Malaysia to bring people from the mainland to places which is islands such as Langkawi, Pulau Pinang, Tioman, Redang, Pangkor and other famous islands. Examples of water transportation in the tourism industry include cruises, yachts, speedboats, ferries, sailboats and etc. But the water transportation which is commonly used is high capacity ferries. Transportation services play a major role in the tourism development as most travellers travelling to any part of the world need to go from one location to another easily and in order to do so, travellers need reliable and efficient transportation services to bring them to any of their desired locations. Three main modes of transportation that are available are again land transportation, air transportation and water transportation. All these three transportation modes can definitely help to boost the tourism activities at any place in the world, including Malaysia, since they will be always in demand and needed by all tourists and travellers.